So today, ladies and gentlemen, we have here, we're going to talk about our San Francisco 49ers, right? So, I got a lot to say about the season. We have, uh, once again, another failure, you know, because we did not win or get to the big show. Now, a lot of us real faithful, and I'm going to say once again, faithful 49ers fans, uh, we upset because we knew, yeah, yeah, we knew that uh, the season was going to end like this because we started with Jimmy Garoppolo on our roster. Now, I know that a lot of y'all uh, really like that Jimmy because uh, maybe y'all have some of those uh, funny style tendencies and you like how he looks. Uh, which, okay, you know, whatever, whatever shakes your boat, you know what I'm saying? But us real 49ers fans, us who really want to win something, uh, we don't want to see Jimmy Garoppolo on our on our team anymore. Uh, as you see, I got on that number five. Yeah, I got on that number five. You know why? You know why? Because Trey Lance is my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and rock with Trey. Uh... I'm not gonna be like all your other fake fans, what I'm gonna say, fake fans. I rock with Trey, you know why? Because he has extreme upside talent. He's got a rocket arm, you know, and if he was utilized in the correct way, he will be successful. You know, the 49ers, I never was a Kaepernick fan, uh, but you know, when he played for the University of Nevada, Reno, he, he was a kind of like in the shotgun, read action, scramble, play action sort of quarterback. And then the 49ers drafted him and then they tried to ruin him by forcing him to be the kind of quarterback that he is not. And that is exactly what they're trying to do with Trey. They're trying to force Trey into being a quarterback that he is not. Okay, for the 49ers front office, what they need to do, they need to stop drafting these quarterbacks and trying to change their game. Okay, what they need to do, right, they need to go on ahead and draft them for their skill set and develop the offense to their skill set. Okay, you got to just let that player play his style game. And if you want to have a different style quarterback, then draft that kind of style quarterback. But you cannot draft a guy for his skill set and then try to change his skill set, okay? That is just ass backwards, chasing your tail around in circles, okay? And then what you're doing is you're going to ruin that young man's career by trying to force him into being who he is not, okay? Now, I got this guy... Uh, he covers the 49ers. His name is Grant Cohn, okay? Now, Grant sometimes, is, you know, his content will be on point sometimes. But then the other time, you know, he just, he just changes his mind. He'll go talk a bunch of shit about these players. He'll talk shit, and he'll talk shit, and he'll talk shit. And then all of a sudden, that player will do well that week. And then all of a sudden, he goes back on what he says, okay? Now... You can't do that, Grant Cone. okay? What you got to do is stick to your guns. If you talk shit about a player, you keep your first mind and you stay talk that shit. And you walk that walk. Quit being wish waffy flippity floppity. Okay, that makes me sick. It's disgusting and it's not the trait of a man. Okay, Grant Cone. I know that you got a 
go clout chase and paper chase and do whatever you're going to do to try to get your views and all that stuff, Grant Cohn. But be a man for once and stick to your guns, okay? Now, if you talk shit about Ken Law or any other individual, if you talk shit about Kyle Shanahan, okay, which I'm there with you, first and foremost, okay, I do not like Kyle Shanahan. I think he is overrated. I don't understand why we keep him in. He has not won shit. He can't finish the big game at all. He cannot finish the big game. The guy does not have what it takes, which is cojones, big ones, to make shit happen. The guy is conservative. I call him conservative Kyle. He will punt the ball on our side of the field when there's coaches who are winners and that want to win, first and foremost. They go for that shit, okay? If you got a good defense, you fucking go for that shit, Kyle Shanahan, okay? Quit being a pussy, Kyle Shanahan. Now, back to Grant Cohn. Now, we might be able to uh, mend our relationship here. We might. I might consider it, Grant Cohn. But we'll discuss that later through content and through emails and whatnot, how we're going to go ahead and, you know, mend our little situation we got here. But moving forward, Grant Cohn, is you have to understand that once you make a decision and you go public with a negative statement on any man, may it be players, coaches, uh, anything, you got to stick to your guns, man, okay? Like me. Jimmy Garoppolo, he sucks. I don't rock with Jimmy. I gave Jimmy the benefit of the doubt in what, 2000, you know, when we was on that Super Bowl run and we lost to the Chiefs, okay? At that point in time, that day, after that game, I ripped off my Garoppolo jersey and I never, ever considered rocking with Jimmy ever again. I took that jersey off, that number 10, and I threw it on the floor. And I never, ever picked that motherfucker up. And I never, ever will respect number 10. Why? Because he is like Shanahan. He is only good enough to bridge us to the point of getting there. But he can never finish the big game. Never. Kyle Shanahan is the Jimmy Garoppolo of coaches, okay? He is only cashing in on his family name. That is all. That guy should not be a head coach, okay? What we should have did is we should have kept D'Amico Ryans. We should have made Kyle Shanahan our offensive coordinator. And then that's it. Problem solved, okay? Then we have someone with balls calling the plays, Moving Kyle out of the way. D'Amico would go for it on fourth and one at our own 40. You know what I'm saying? We need a coach to start changing the elements of the game. Okay. We need to go into this season with Trey. Because Trey is my quarterback. What is, I believe, is Trey Lance is a lot better than what people think, know, and understand. Okay. Trey Lance has not had a chance. He has had Jimmy Garoppolo on his back his whole entire time he has been with our San Francisco 49ers, okay? Now, Justin Fields, uh, I'm glad we didn't get Justin Fields. I'm glad we got Trey. I rock with Trey. I support Trey. I stand behind Trey. And we are going to win with Trey. Trey Lance needs the coaches to get behind him and just throw him in the lion's den, just like they did with Justin Fields, okay? They got to just throw him in there. We're going to take our lumps and our bruises, and if we're real fans, we're going to support him, and we're going to be happy of the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo is no longer on our team. So that is one thing that we got to do. We got to just get rid of Jimmy. We should have took a Gatorade container for Jimmy Garoppolo, okay? Now, I don't ever want to hear talk about Jimmy Garoppolo being on our team ever again. 
whatsoever. Now, it, I can't lie. I'm disgusted. I've been disgusted since he's been on our team, okay? But in the NFC Championship game, when they panned over to him and we, we lost Purdy and then uh, that Johnson fella or whatever his irrelevant person name was, uh, man, don't get me started on that one. But, you know, they panned to Jimmy, and Jimmy was laughing, smiling. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo should have put on an Eagles jersey at that point in time, sat on the other side of the field. We should have got rid of that motherfucker that day. He should not have wore San Francisco anything, okay? Not even a, a, a pink slippers that say San Francisco on that shit at all, okay? So... Hopefully this offseason there's no Jimmy Garoppolo talk because if the organization wants to keep the real fans, Jimmy's got to go, okay? We got to get rid of that just heavy, dark cloud weight. We got to get rid of Jimmy G because Jimmy G can't win, okay? Secondly, Kyle Shanahan just needs to unleash Trey and go to Trey and just let him play his game. Give Trey the reins. Let him get comfortable out there and develop a style of play for Trey Lance that he played in college. Quit drafting these guys and trying to change them. It makes me sick. When they fail, it is your fault because you draft somebody for their skill set, but you try to change their style of play. All right? Stop doing that. Okay, you ruined Kaepernick. Okay, now uh, that's fine with me. I was not a Kaepernick fan, but don't do it to Trey. Don't make the same mistake that you did with Kaepernick. Don't do that to Trey. Just let Trey play ball, man. Let Trey play ball. Get him some protection on the right side. And then just let him do what Jalen Hurts does. Don't don't put him as a runner. You know, just have him be a scrambling quarterback, man. Do some play action, some read action, all that type of stuff, man. And just let the kid play ball and get him some protection on the right side, man. You know, it's making me sick that we just continue to have O-line problems, no protection, and at the end of the day, now what are we going on year seven or eight now where our corners have been subpar at the very best, you know, uh, we got to go ahead and just spend money one good time on one number one top cornerback, man. Come on, we got to get Traverius Ward some real help over there. Uh, we got to bring some new blood in. You know, sometimes you can't always promote from within. Sometimes you just got to bring in some new blood, okay? So, Bring in some new blood, man. Give us fans something to really see that you're really trying to do something. Show us fans that you really want to win as an organization. And for the 49ers front office, man, sometimes you just got to let Kyle Shanahan know, hey, man, you got to quit being so conservative, man. You got to just let it fly. Okay, and when we get to lead, when we get to lead in these games, let's not go time, time control, conservative bullshit pussy ball, man. Let's put the foot on the gas and just keep stomping on it. No mercy. Keep stomping on that ball. Okay, keep stomping on that score and keep just shitting all over opponents, man, because I'm motherfucking tired of these little pussy ass fucking, let me just hand the ball off and control the clock. Fuck that, man. Let that ball fly like John Madden fucking motherfucking on the Xbox, man. You let that ball fucking fly, Kyle Shanahan, because I'm tired of watching you be conservative and be scared and limiting your quarterbacks limiting your offense, all that stuff. You are the one that limits your offense. It's not the quarterback, none of that. You are holding your quarterbacks back. You are holding your team back. You are holding the fans back. You're holding the organization back. And you really got to have a pair, man. Now, what I'm going to say about our players, our 49ers players, we got, we got some phenomenal players. We got some superstars on our team, man. We got... We got so much talent, so much ability. But what I see nowadays is is these modern day men, you know, these 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 video game playing type of men, you know, these men that are afraid to to go tackle real hard, or you know, these these men that are afraid to go 
get tackled. Check this out, man. You guys are supposed to be men, not modern day men, you know, where you, you got to wear your dress and all that stuff. And, you know, you're afraid to get tackled and uh, you, you get you get upset if someone calls you a bad word or whatnot. Check this out, man. Where is your testosterone? Over the Niners players, when we go into the 2023 season, this is strictly for the players I'm talking about. And you need to hear me what I got to say about this. I'm not playing, okay? You guys need to have testosterone, okay? You go into the game and you get angry and you get upset and you play with testosterone, okay? You play with anger and be a man. Play with testosterone, be physical. I don't care if it's offense. I don't care if it's catching the ball. I don't care if it's defense. I man, yeah, motherfucking quarterback throws you that motherfucking ball, motherfucker. You jump up, motherfucker, and you tighten your body up and you get angry and you fucking have some testosterone. And you fucking be a man and you catch that motherfucking ball like it's the last motherfucking ball on earth you're ever gonna catch. And you bring that motherfucker down and when that motherfucker tries to tackle you, you go fucking tackle that motherfucker. He don't tackle you, you tackle that motherfucker and you knock that motherfucker off his motherfucking route and then you take that ball in that end zone motherfucker and you slam that motherfucker down like you trying to cause an earthquake in motherfucking Santa Clara motherfucker you have some testosterone and you fucking get beast mode every motherfucking play I don't give a fuck if you're running a route and the ball ain't coming to you you be fucking beast mode you go into this 2023 season with motherfucking testosterone and you fight your motherfucking way to that motherfucking number one spot, we get that motherfucking number one seed, and you make motherfuckers afraid to play you. Motherfucker, be the 19 motherfucking whatever Mike Tyson when he first came out was knocking motherfuckers out in half a second, okay? You make motherfuckers afraid to play you. Just like when motherfuckers was afraid to get in the ring with Mike Tyson, you make a motherfucker afraid to get on the field with you. And if you don't fucking do that, you know what you are? You ain't a real motherfucking 49er player, I'll tell you that. Because real fans, that's how we feel about our fandom. That's how we feel about following our team. We want to fight motherfucking other fans from other motherfucking teams, okay? Because we got testosterone and pride in who the fuck we represent. So you do the goddamn same. You represent us and you getting paid millions of dollars to be a man. So get out on that motherfucking field and tear some motherfucking heads off and hit some motherfucking people so hard that it's going to wake that motherfucking dead great granny up out the grave, motherfucker. You hit that motherfucker so hard you separate that motherfucking spine and be the chiropractor or something, okay? I'm motherfucking tired of watching this sissy ass shit going on, okay? If you're going to get a fucking flag for holding motherfucker... You better hit that motherfucker in the middle of next week. Make that motherfucker look up at you and wonder where you're at before that ball even comes to him. Then guess what? Drop past, interception, fumble, okay? Have a fucking pair and have some testosterone when you play this motherfucking 2023 season. I don't give a fuck if you're the water boy. That water boy better walk around with the heaviest motherfucking feet on the sideline. Ask your motherfucking ass, hey motherfucker, you want some motherfucking Gatorade? You're gonna drink this motherfucking Gatorade or I'm gonna fucking shove it down your motherfucking neck. Okay, that's how you need to be, okay? Because that's how winners are made. And that's how the fuck we're going to win 2020 motherfucking three season, okay? So Kyle Shanahan, check this out, motherfucker. You need to listen to me and you need to coach like that. You need to put that in your motherfucking player's motherfucking head that you need to play with some motherfucking testosterone and be a motherfucking man. This season, it's man season, motherfucker. And we going head hunting, boy. Okay, motherfucker, I'm talking about, I don't care who's catching that ball. You put your shoulder in that motherfucker's ribs and you try to snap that motherfucker, boy. You make him 
feel every hit, man. I don't care. You better eat your Wheaties, eat some bananas, motherfucker, snort some motherfucking protein powder like it's the best motherfucking cocaine you ever had. I don't give a fuck what you doing out there, 49ers players, but you better get your health up, get your fucking testosterone up, okay, and start eating a bunch of protein, bananas, I don't give a fuck, eat you some rocks, some Wheaties, I don't give a shit, but motherfucker, play with some testosterone, because we are tired of not winning as fans, okay, we want to motherfucking win, and what we need to win is a bunch of real ass men out there hitting hard as a motherfucker, and catching that motherfucking rock like it is the motherfucking last rock thrown, of your lifetime, you go up there and you get that motherfucking ball, you don't drop a motherfucking thing, and if you drop that motherfucking ball, I want to see you so angry and frustrated, you're punching the motherfucking ground, because you're playing with testosterone, okay, because that's what men are supposed to do, man, you're supposed to get out there and play like a motherfucking man, okay, and if you don't want to play like a motherfucking man, go get you an Xbox, a Playstation, motherfucker, I don't care what, Nintendo Wii, whatever the fuck, you go get you a motherfucking John Madden game, and you play that motherfucker at home on your couch with a remote, and you stay off that fucking field if you want to fucking play like some fucking weak ass, scared, timid little 11 year old or out there afraid to get tackled, okay? Because you go out there, you're not the one that gets tackled. You go out there and you tackle motherfuckers from offense and defense and you just go fuck people up, okay? Because I'll check it out. If I wasn't the bad motherfucking old ass motherfucking 49 er grandpa motherfucker, I would be out there hurting motherfuckers just like in the motherfucking 80s. Take it back to the 80s. Okay, let's go retro 49ers. Take it back to the fucking 80s and let's get this motherfucking season under control. Okay, now, players, we have way more power. Then we understand, okay? We have way more power. If that coach starts calling some bullshit motherfucking plays that you know ain't gonna work, call motherfucking Tom out and you tell him, check it out. We ain't fucking running that play. Fuck your play. Your play don't win us shit. Okay, we're going on how many motherfucking years now we ain't won a motherfucking Super Bowl. Fuck your conservative pussy ass piece of shit play calling we're gonna get up in there and we're gonna play our own motherfucking play okay because you guys are out there in the field you're the one feeling everything you're the one seeing everything so you motherfuckers if you don't agree with that coach's calling you motherfucking get in that huddle and you guys change that fucking play and if it don't fucking work you go tell that motherfucking coach hey man fuck it your shit wasn't gonna work anyway and if it works when you go on that sideline and that motherfucking scary ass motherfucking conservative Kyle Shanahan goes and asks you, man, what the fuck I call this and this? And he said, check it out, man. Your motherfucking plays suck. Just like Jimmy said. That's the only time I ever liked Jimmy G. Jimmy G said, your plays suck, man. Your plays suck, man. Fucking pussy ass Jimmy G. So check it out. That's what you go tell that motherfucker on the sideline. You say, check it out, coach. Your play suck, man. <laughs> Your play suck, man. We run this motherfucker. Fuck you. You get on our program. That's what you're supposed to do because you got fucking testosterone, okay? You're putting your bodies out on that line and you want to fucking win, don't you? Do you want to fucking win? If you want to fucking win, then you go out there and fucking win. You win for you. You win for us. And you go take that motherfucking trophy back home. Because you know what? We need one. The fans need one. Okay? That's all I got to say for now. This is my introduction. More content's going to be coming. And I don't think y'all ready for this, man. I don't think YouTube is ready for anything that I got coming to y'all. And uh, this Grant Cohn guy. <laughs> we're going to have to figure this out, Grant. We're going to have to figure this out, man. We got to have us a conversation, man. Maybe I'll do some content with you. I don't even know. I might consider it. But we got to work out this wishy-washy bullshit you got to say. First and foremost, shots fired from me. 
like they've always been firing. Fuck Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't want to see that motherfucker dress up again. If Jimmy Garoppolo dresses up again, man, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just go show up to the motherfucking game, asshole naked or something. I don't know, because we ain't fucking having that shit with Jimmy G in another Niners uniform again. We should have traded that motherfucker for a Gatorade container or 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 some dirty socks or something. Okay. I don't want to see Jimmy G in a 49ers uniform ever again. Like I said, Trey Lance is our quarterback and I rock with Trey. I bought this jersey on draft night. I was probably the only person in the world to have a Trey Lance jersey. First. I could probably guarantee that. Okay. Now, we got to rock with Trey. We got to back up Trey as fans, and we got to stick with him. Now, the only way, the only way I would ever, ever agree with the 49ers getting rid of Trey would be some crazy shit. Like, we get Lamar Jackson, or we get Aaron Rodgers, or something like that. And then the 49ers did Trey a solid and actually let him go somewhere where he could start and develop and be the star that I know he's going to be. Okay. But if that scenario does not happen, we rock with Trey. And that scenario is not going to happen. So let's start getting down to reality now and let's start backing our quarterback up. Trey Lance is our quarterback. Okay. Trey Lance has a lot of upside to him. His arm strength is phenomenal and he's going to get better and better and better. He's got to get the jitters out. Okay. And he just got to go out there and play. And what happens is, is we got to just tell Kyle Shanahan, listen here, man, let Trey run his game man. let that young man play and let him play without worrying about if someone's going to take his job. If he throws one interception or misses one pass, man, because you got to try to understand how hard that is as a young man to have that fear on his back that any wrong move or any wrong turn he takes, he's going to lose his job, man. You're not giving him a fair shake and you're not going to develop a star when all you're doing is putting a bunch of fear into him. Okay. If he makes a mistake, he's going to lose his job. Okay. That man needs to play problem free, fear free and let him do his thing. Okay. So you got to really, really, really think about what you're doing to that young man. Okay. You drafted him for the skill set and you wanted him. So just let him play ball, man, and give him this season, man. And if you tell him that, give him this season. No matter what with Brock happens, I don't care, man. You let Trey Lance play. And you let him play and you tell him, hey, you're going to play. Unless you get injured, you are going to play. This is your team for the year. Let's see what you can do. Don't worry about anything. Go out there carefree and just have fun and play some ball. But play with motherfucking testosterone. <laughs> You hear me, Trey? I'm rocking with you, Trey. I'll back you, Trey. I've been backing you. I'm rocking with you. Okay. Brock did good. I was happy. I was happy that we, we had some hope there. Uh, But at the end of the day, no matter what, Trey, I rock with Trey Lance. And we all need to get behind Trey. And we need to support Trey. And we need to let Trey have a good time and go out there and play some ball. Period. I don't want to hear none of this Tom Brady talk. Nobody wants Tom Brady, man. Call me crazy. I don't care. But if you got any sort of eyeballs and any sort of intelligence in your mind and some football IQ, you got to go back to the game where we played Tom Brady and look at how he looked. That motherfucker was trash. He had us coming at him left and right. He was scared. He had no clue what to do. That guy's done. He's lost a step. He throws the ball at the ground. He misses passes. You look at when he played the Cowboys, how horrible he looked last year. Come on, man. Let's stop this Tom Brady talk, man. Nobody wants Tom Brady at all, period, man. Let's stop all that crazy madness talk. Let's get behind our quarterback and let's start rocking and rolling. 49ers, players. Play with some testosterone in 2023. Play with some aggression, some real live aggression. And you get out there and you win us something. You win yourself something. Okay. That's about all the rant or raving I got for right now. This is just my 
free warm-up video for YouTube. Let Grant Cohn know. Mr. Grant Cohn. Mr. Grant Cohn. Mr. Grant Cohn. I'm coming. We're going to have to maybe... I don't know. We're going to maybe have to figure this out, man. But... I don't know, man. When you speak on someone... You ride it out with conviction. If you're wrong, admit you're wrong, but you don't ever praise that man. Once you once you disrespect that man and stop talking about that man in a negative way, don't ever stop. Keep your first mind. If they prove you wrong, good, good. But don't ever let no one change your opinion of them once you make that opinion, man. Be a man too. Have some testosterone and some conviction in your decisions and what you say. We're going to have to figure this out, Grant. Anyway, YouTube, this is the nice and easy light session. This is me being nice today. I just want to introduce myself on the 49ers bad motherfucking grandpa. And we got some bad motherfucking content coming your way this whole off season. And man, we're going to do some real live shit live on the games in 2023. YouTube is not ready for this.